There are. There's three main estrogens that at least we know of. There's probably more out there such as phytoestrogens and xenoestrogens that are either man-made or made from plastics or petroleum products and from plants. But the three main ones that we deal with in our practice are E1, E2, and E3. Estrone, which is E1, estradiol, which is E2, and estriol, which is E3. Estrone is an estrogen that's got about a medium potency, and we tend to make more of that in menopause than, than before menopause. And it's an important estrogen, has a lot to do with uh, bone strength and things like that. So we need some, but not too much. And some of the metabolites of estrone we need to watch and make sure that we don't make too much of because they can be implicated in um, possibly cancerous transformation. And then there's estradiol, which is E2, and that's our main estrogen. And that's the one that has over 400 known functions in the body and maybe more than that. And that's the main one that declines in perimenopause and menopause and, and the main one that gives women symptoms and the main one that helps them feel better when we replace it with bioidentical estradiol. Estriol is a, is a hormone that is usually only present in high amounts during pregnancy. However, it happens to be a very important estrogen in terms of protection and balancing in the tissues with estradiol and estrone. So we actually put it into our compounded estrogen creams. We call that Biest, which has part estriol and part estradiol in it because of the protective effect of estriol. Estriol tends to protect us against breast cancer and uterine cancer, and it has its own um, beneficial functions in terms of alleviating some of the symptoms for women. So it's kind of a nice little insurance plan that we put in and one of the reasons we use compounded uh, estrogen creams only.